Hey what's up guys welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video this is John from Programming Knowledge and in this video guys we're gonna talk about the input and output in C programming language before we dive in into um, operators and how we can use operators in C programming language so basically we can use the function printf to display something in our screen just like what we have uh, before so printf and then we can say hello world okay and then uh, we can build and run this program and we can get the hello world string right here um, we use the printf function for that and now we're going to talk about the input because we're we're trying to focus on the input because we're already familiar with the output side of C programming so we have used the printf to output something in our screen and then of course in order for us to ask input from the user we're going to use the scanf function okay so the way to use um, scanf function we can say here we can ask for a particular number so please enter a number okay and then we can um, add the escape character here for a new line and we can declare a variable here so, so for example int a and then we can um, get the value from the user by using the scanf function and then uh, format specifier for our int variable or int value and comma and then of course uh, the n symbol and the name of our of our variable a so basically what this means is that we're taking the address of variable a and then assign a value to that address um, whatever the, the user has inputted okay so and then we're going to end this with the semicolon and let's try this uh, let's try to display the value that uh, comes from the user okay so number the number is um, percent d format specifier for our uh, int value and then comma and then and then the name of our variable which is a okay and then semicolon so uh, remember to end every time or end every line with a semicolon okay and then we can build and run this application so there you go uh, the program tried uh, is trying to prompt us to input a number so, so for example number five so number five is or the number is colon and then the value five which is coming from the user itself Okay, and now we can actually um, ask two numbers in the same line by using also the scanf function. So in here we have like uh, ask for a single number, but what we can do is we can ask for um, two numbers, just like uh, please enter any two numbers. Okay. And then we're just going to use the same function percent uh, scan f and then percent d percent another percent d because we're asking two numbers and then in here we can say uh, n symbol and then the value or the variable b which we will uh, declare here on the top okay b and then we can declare another variable c and we can add the values or the numbers coming from the user so um, the number or the value c or the variable c we can assign a value to that which is the total of the two numbers a and b so that will be c equals a plus b 
So what we're doing here is that we're assi we're just assigning the value of the total of a and b into our c variable. Okay. So the total the total number is and then percent d and of course the value of our c. Okay, which is again the total of our variables a and b. Okay. So save this and then we can uh, build and run our application. So please enter any two numbers. For example, the, um, one and two. So the total number is three. Okay. So again, like five and um three so the total is eight okay so as you can see we are getting the two numbers five and three and then we're displaying the total which is eight okay so basically that's how you can ask or you know input something into our program because our program right now is asking for a uh, for an input from our user okay and that's where we can you know uh, apply the operators in our C program and we have different operators or type of oper uh, operators in C so C programming language offers various types of operators having different functioning capabilities so the first one is the um, arithmetic operators so we have used the addition operator right there by you know assigning the value of a plus b into c okay and then we also have the relational relational operators Okay, let me resize this so you can clear, uh, clearly see it. Arithmetic operators, and then we have relational operators, and the third one will be logical operators. The fourth one is assignment operators. And fifth one will be increment increment and decrement operators i'm just going to list it here so you can see all the type of operators in our c programming language so decrement operators and then we also have the conditional conditional uh, operator we also have bitwise operators and then we have special um, operators so these are all the types of operators that we can use inside our C programming language and of course the first one is arithmetic so arithmetic operators include um, it includes addition of course of course the symbol for that is the plus right and then we also have subtraction symbol for that is dash we also have multiplication and we can use the asterisk for that to multiply two numbers in our inside our C program. And then of course we do have the division, which is the forward slash uh, forward slash symbol. And of course we have the modulo and we can use the percent sign to um, like operate by using modulus. Okay. Now uh, let's talk about the operators or arithmetic operators. So, for example, you know, uh, addition. So, we can also, like, um, int b equals um, a minus b. Okay? And then we can, like, have... Of course not. We cannot redeclare it uh, the B because we already declared it there. 
So we can say it d equals a minus b, and then we can see uh, e, and then um, a times b. And of course, we can have the division, and we're going to have like um, use the float, or we can use the double for that. Double um, f equals 1 or a divided by b okay so these are the are all arithmetic operators that we can use inside our c program so basically you can add you can subtract you can multiply and you can um, divide two numbers inside your um, c program so um, so for example we're going to test this okay so in the in the uh, equals a minus b, okay. So we can display the total number is percent d, and then the difference difference of the two numbers. The difference uh, the difference is. Of course, we're going to use the different or the variable d for the uh, difference. And then we can use another one, which is the product. The product is percent um, d. And the next one is the quotient. Okay, the quotient of two numbers is, of course, the uh, variable f, and then we can use the format specifier, which is lf, okay, and then, of course, the variable f, something like this. So, let's run our program, okay, and we can enter two variables here, or two numbers, which is, for example, 5 and 3 okay so the difference or the total number is the total number is 8 the difference is 2 and we need to format this so we can see clearly so we can add percent or i mean backslash n for each line the difference the quotient and of course we need to have the product. The product is percent D and then, of course, the variable E. Okay. So, again, run our program, build and run, and then 5 and then 3. So, the total is 8 or 5 plus 3 is 8. And then, the difference is 5 minus 2 or 5 minus 3 is 2. And then, the product is um, 15. 5, 5 times 3 is 15, and then the quotient is uh, 1, okay? So, there's only number, or there's only 1, 3 in the value 5, okay? So, I think that's all there is to it, guys, for this video, and if you want to learn more about C programming language, so make sure to watch the next video. So, see you in the next video.